Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to today's Advent of Code. Day 18. These have been getting extremely, well, very, take, they've taken a long time to do. Day 17 took seven hours. Day 16, we did three hours, but we had to get a hint. Now, we're doing day uh, 18. I hope it's not seven hours, but we'll see. Also, shout out to my boy Carlson. Well, not my boy. Anyway, he's competing in the SEC Speed Chess Championship ship this evening. Which I want to watch, so I hope I'm done by then. Anyway, let's get started on day 18 of the Advent of Code. First of all, it's slower than usual. Okay. Uh, short today. Well, text is short today. What happened yesterday uh, is that we got extremely confused. We confused ourselves for the longest time and then what worked as usual was to just kick back, burn it down, start from scratch. Module main where main IO main equal return. Let's do the preliminaries. Language is G21. Import util. Okay, that's how we start now. Let's see what we're doing now. You and the elephant falling. Elephants finally reach fresh air. You emerge near the base of a large volcano. Oh no. Oh, volcanoes are my specialty. Fortunately, the lava seems to be flowing away from you and toward the ocean. Bits of lava are still being ejected towards you, so you're sheltering in a cavern acting a little longer. Outside the cave, you can see the lava landing in a pond and hear the loud hissing and it solidifies. Huh, obsidian. Okay. Pretty which is cool as it might be forming obsidian. Yeah, we call this raptina. Or like uh, ravens a uh, flint in Iceland. Uh, the cooling rate should be based on the surface area of the lava drop. So you take a quick scan of the drop and it flies past you. You personally improve. Because of how quickly the lava is moving, your scan isn't very good. Its resolution is quite low and as a result it approximates the shape of the lava droplet with 1x1 cubes and 3D grid. Given as it's XY set positions. So if you it's okay, so okay. Count the number of sides of each cube that are not immediately connected to another cube. Dang, let's get the I'm gonna cut it slow today. I don't know why place the input here. Oh wow. Well. So if you scan a word two only two okay. Ah, so these are the coordinates of the cubes. Uh, scan the number of sides of each cube that are not immediately connected to another cube. So if your scan were only two adjacent cubes like 111 and 21211, each cube would have a single side covered and five side exposed. A total surface area of 10 sides. Um, okay. Okay, let's say, look at this. Hmm, oh, single side, five sides, both those are very sad, ten sides. Okay, we have got some collision code from yesterday, though. That's good. Uh, let's see. Read input. We're not going to bother with input today. We're just going to say a file path to IO. 
cryptids. Int, int, int. Read input equals a uh, map lines a. Dot read file a d t slash example. Uh, now uh, L to L to C. Let's just write it. Data input. I int comma int comma int. Uh, okay, let me actually int int int. Now I want to say c uh, i to c is equal to i x equals x. Uh, I i to c map. map uh, uh, i to i to c dot reads right instance read input where reads prac equals parse prac parse where parse equals a step by I read so this is gonna be read as to p reads and this is going to be jar comma and this is going to be set by ding 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 do like I said return x y z Read S oh, to P Okay We got the chords Do Read input Dating example Let's uh, run it. Boom, we got the chords. Oh, no. And we can parse the input. Good. Okay. Okay, now, um, so one X one cubes on a grid. Okay, let me actually uh, now uh, type chords. I'm gonna have this uh, int map, int map, int, int map, int map, int set. So this is 3D chords. 
Did it. Dot int map. Oh my god. Import qualified data dot int map. Import data dot int set as import a qualified data dot int set as is. Now, uh, how do we construct? So we got a list of coordinates. Let's construct all the sets in a two set. Two in, two in. Um, cubes and two cubes. Two set x y z equals i am dot singleton x i am dot singleton y i s dot singleton z Cube union cube two cube two cube. So cube union equals a, a union. I am that union with. Okay, so here we have the two, and then this one is I am dot union with, and then I is dot union. Okay, now let's a uh, and one. Let's take the in comma in comma in and let's view the cube in this way task one equals um task one equals map to set and i'm gonna do a uh, fold l a cube union and it's going to start off on the empty cube. Ding, 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 ding. So these are the ones and the twos and then the two and five. Besides, this is going to be the hard function cube to int. Now let's say it tiny example it was um Now let's print the funny example.
Now I want to say rotate. Okay. And rotate cube to cube. Rotate the cube. Uh, rotate equals a uh, cube equals okay. So I am dot s ox Okay, let's see what happens if we drink. Oh, we're not rotating anything yet. Okay. Well, let's make this into a list. Uh, so this is a list of ints and... Uh, this is the target type. Currently, now I'm going to go to the map, x, x comma map, uh, x comma y's, tip, repeat, x, Okay, so now we have these. Now I want to say, um,
Okay, and then dock here. Okay, so we we'll go here. We go and this is gonna be a x comma Okay, so why can I not do this? Uh, maybe because it's not a uh, list yet. Okay, yes, and then. Next, uh, y, y, and Z. Repeat, repeat, X. Repeat, X. Okay. Okay, so we covered the ones and twos. I'm getting a bit of a deja vu here. I feel like we've done something like this before, but okay. Eh. Uh, does this work for the example? Input. Yeah, it seems like it. Okay, we recovered all the Now let's rotate. Okay. Map is so X Y Z Z X Y Print a tiny example. We print rotate tiny example and we print rotate rotate tiny example. And, so, and then, then we can see that uh, one of them has a uh, two. And let's see. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And if you rotate it one more time, we should get the original bit. Yeah. So we can, here we can see that one of them is joy, right?
equals a uh, count is equal to a uh, I am dot uh, I am dot folder and I will take the current number of sides and the uh, for that chord plus I am dot size V now I want to do this for the cube equals a count a cube plus count rotate cube count rotate now let's say a uh, r cube equal rotate cube r r cube equal rotate r cube so we want to do a sum dot sum a map a count cube r cube r r cube Okay, and here I delete this one. Let me call a print dollar size tiny example. It should give five. Print a okay, so there's a and but for this one there are twenty five. So it's not just this times two. The um, print a uh, let's see cube is a cube over we didn't put print cube print rotate cube print rotate rotate From this, we can at least read what is the um, just not not do it all of them let's just do
Easy. So there's a 13 in here. Let's see, so one cube has eight sides. Okay, so 13. Eight, eight times. You know, a cube does not have. A cube has six faces. I am a mathematician, don't worry. For the other one, that's the gonna be Here we have 10 different sides and 10 different sides and 5 
but there we have only five different zones. do a, a size of a cube so um It might not be contiguous, right? Like here we have one, two, three, four, six, right? Join takes in a set, okay, equals highest out from list S. SL equals where so how do we we we'll join
group by compare on a div two. Okay, uh, x and uh, y are equal if we if x plus x equals y or x plus one one equals y. Let's see this. Okay, uh, import data. I want to say here. So okay, so one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, uh, ten, uh, twelve, thirteen. Oh, okay. Now group by e uh, import data dot function. Okay, and then a uh, group by uh, equals on do to well, this is not correct x y x plus one equals y. Uh, it's just like x x y x plus one equals y x plus one equals y so i want to i want to merge all those that are continuous okay let's write it in a different way Contiguous uh, uh, in so a list of ints to a uh, list list of ints. Contiguous uh, empty equals empty. Contiguous uh, x y um, r. Equals okay, so if x a plus one equals y. If this is the case, then a then it actually I'll do x um, okay, what are we doing here 
Okay, so here, then they, here they are contiguous. And then we'll do... Um, let uh, R... RC... RS... Equals a contiguous... Uh, y R... In a XRC, um, added to rest. Then so this is not like a contiguous XYR. Otherwise, equals a x contiguous uh, y r contiguous x equals x. G G I D eighteen. The 18 just He's doing. Let me get the L again and then contiguous. Oh. Okay, so these are the contiguous uh, numbers. Okay, and then we're gonna do fold L again. Fold L now. I mean, here we have the insets. The uh, uh, the is uh, c plus length a uh, contiguous is dot from list not is dot to list uh, is a zero. We're getting 32 and we're getting five. Oh my god, nice. That's just two times this. Sweet. Okay, let's see if that works for the input. Task one is int. To int task one equals a side start to q. They one print dot task one. Let's make a tiny example here. Also, actually, new file. Example. 
3,500. Does that work? All right, we got task one. And I feel like we did it in a very nice way. Uh, it's very fast, 23 milliseconds. Now, part two. This is where it gets hard. The cooling depends on the exterior surface area, but your calculation also includes the surface area of air pockets trapped inside the lava droplets. Instead, consider only cube sides that could be reached by the water and stream as the lava droplet tumbles into the pond. The steam will expand to reach as much as possible, completely displacing any air on the outside of the lava droplet, but never expanding diagonally. <laughs> Exactly one cube of air is trapped within the lava droplet. Oh my god, okay. Let's see. Ah, but, but I feel like we did task one quite fast. Let me see the stats. Oh, we were in the top 15k. Okay. Here I feel like we should compute like the interior cubes and calculate them, those areas. And um, uh, and then calculate the yeah, and deduct that from the total area. Okay, let's uh, let's see. Um, dun, 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 dun.
That's right here, a gap. Gaps, okay, so we're gonna write a... Um, is I am dot fold out um, to the current gaps and a V and current plus plus uh, M, okay, and then gaps prime then and then we will get the list where gaps prime dim I am not fold L A B I S A gaps prime prime Yes. So gaps prime prime takes in the is gaps prime prime takes in int set Hold the list key, C key. Gaps. K. A K and this is K prime. Okay, so I want to take all of these and I'm going to say sip. Repeat K prime dollar. Okay, and then this is going to be ah, zip, repeat, K. Okay. Okay, and the gap here is a um, bear m s min min i s equals int set i s dot find min Max is equals is dot find max. Max is find the is, and then we're gonna just say filter is dot member. Okay. 
Let's see. Not. Flip IS member IS. Main IS two. Max IS. So let's print here a read input the 18 example print caps dot print dot caps dot youtube Two, two and five. One, two, three is not there, and one, two, four is not there. Okay. So here we have two. So two, two. Two, one from list, two from list, one, two, three, four, five. Three, two, five. And three. Print so let's print this differently. Map M. Map M. Dot. Sox. So my question is. Uh, something going on here okay uh, let me just send gaps a uh, x in here x i'm not gonna do this part gaps x equals a full key y gaps x y gaps X Y I S map X comma Y comma One, two, and then the one, yeah. the one, two, and three, and one, two, and four. The so one, two, so three is not there, four is not there. Okay, and two. Two, three, and two, four is not there. So why aren't we getting the two, two, and the? Uh,
ratio x y Okay, so now we have all the gaps. All right, but that uh, took a while now. Okay, so now I have to somehow filter I have to find a list of kind of you know, saying like it's completely contained within the Got the 225 there for sure. Now, how can I tell that one of these is? completely contained in the cube. Because it might be at like the center, right? Uh, well, if it's... Uh, maybe a, a, something is contained. Okay. Let's say neighbors. 
int comma int comma int int comma int comma int neighbors equal it never expands diagonally so we're gonna do a x y z equal so it's gonna be x plus one a y z A x comma y plus one comma z. A x comma y comma z plus one. Then a x minus one y z x comma y minus one comma z x comma y comma z minus one. Okay, now we're gonna write a contains function. So we're gonna say contains. And we're gonna take a int, comma, int, comma, int. And we're gonna take a cube. And we're gonna say contains x, y, z is equal to um, do just y, s is gonna be see flip this cube int 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 c x y z just y is equals a i am c i am dot bang x is just just dollar do just says z i am ah wise i am i am dot y and then Ah, oh, okay, I'll do it like it's just Y's, just Z's, a Z's, a set dot member, Z. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to write this function here. Okay, so task2 equals to, so this is the, okay, so task2 equals f inf equals a, where c equals 2 cube int. Okay, now a uh, g's. All G's equals gaps cube. Now I'm gonna filter uh, all G's by saying um, G. Okay, and now we're gonna say a uh, G's cube equals two cube 
all GS. Now filter, so G, A, E, 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 do, 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 do. Then I'm going to say all contains a C, all, okay, and then the G, so the gap is within the cube if all of its neighbors are either in the cube or also a gap. All and then a check a neighbor's key. And then check here takes in a neighbor and it checks that a contains a cube contains a neighbor or the gaps cube contains gs cube neighbor let's see here a print task to And those are the gaps. Okay, so uh, actual gaps equals actual gaps, gaps. And uh, we're going to make a cube out of that. Actual gap cube equals two cube actual gaps. Now, how many sides? So, what is it? So, we're gonna do the result here is a sides of C minus sides sides of. Actual gap cube. Fifty-eight. What I get for the input. Twenty eighteen. Ah, uh, your answer is too low. It's the right answer for someone else. Oh. Okay, but we're definitely not far off. But it's a bit annoying that we... That we get the correct answer for the... Very nice, actually. Um, I 
me right here. The answer was too low, which means that we're overcounting something. I feel like these gaps could be many different cubes. Stack in here. Just going to move some chest pieces around. Just going to move one around, actually. I'll do the other ones later.
So we got the gaps. Okay, um Let's see here. Let's do the gaps, but the, only the actual sides. And let's see, actual gaps. We're doing it for the example. Okay, so these are all the ones that are right next to right next to a and so they're not in a gap, like they're actually right next to one of the cubes. This may be it. Let's see. This is too high, yes. Okay, so here we have the gaps. So these all contain a neighbor. How many neighbors do they have? Ah, uh, uh, wait. These are the ones that are entirely contained. It's just the length actual gap. Okay, no, that was a yeah, that was a you know, one I tried. That's too high. Okay, three to eight, three to eight four is too high, and twenty eighteen is too low. Too low. I'm mm. 
anything dealing Let's uh, what is the um GS length of actual gaps? So these are any any one of their neighbors is okay. Now I'm gonna do here um, how many other neighbors uh, do actually so map uh, G so sum map G a uh, filter any check neighbors G uh, Filter uh, check. Filter check. Neighbors G. Length. See here a uh, sides C minus. This is even lower, right? Yeah, these are not just the ones. Uh, Check a only n equals contain check the only. Okay, so here are the uh, these are the neighbors that are completely contained. All check. See ya. So these are a uh, side C. Okay. So print that out. Uh, six. I'll say a uh, mono gaps. The length and uh, mono gaps. Let's do a 
and then and then yeah uh, partition partition yeah Okay, so there's Okay, so it's definitely in So you're definitely contained within the cube. On all edges, you can like, you can never leave without escaping the cube. Okay, so then let's just do, um, Let's just brute force this, okay? A two cube in. Let's just say a min x equals a minimum x y z x. Minimum min minimum minimum. Minimum, uh, oh yeah, dollar map. Min I. Means uh, let's just uh, see what these are. And we could do this faster, but right max x minimum. Okay, this is max mom. What are the ranges here? Uh, 1 to 19, 0, 19, 0, 19. Ah, that's Okay, uh, so we have the gaps. There's gonna be one of the gaps, okay? Um, so, then we're gonna say Fully contained. X, uh, X, X, Y, Z equals 
Um, any contains the so and so they have to be and then map any contains C of a root is for the three. Uh, can any contains C uh, and this is going to be dot a I oh my god so where x range is equal to um a map i to x plus i ah uh, no i'm not gonna do x plus y i'm just gonna do i comma y z So it has to be in both directions, okay? X range is equal to max x minus min x. A y range equals a Max y minus min y and we'll see range equals max z minus min z. We're gonna say here x range, y range, z range. The fully contained where x is uh, x a uh, x right is equal to a um, map a i a x plus y i y said zero up to uh no one up to x range x left is equal to map I x minus y y comma z one to x range. Okay, and a copy, and it's a x and y. Ah. Okay, I just do. Y I range Uh, fully contained is equal to x y z is equal to any contains c contains c map um, x right x left y right y left z right and z left and how to do 
and a moldy. Okay, now let's see. Uh, the ones that are fully contained are gonna be a fully, fully contained cube equals two cube of filter fully contained all GS. Side C minus sides fully contained contained fully contained twenty twenty four could it be? Is it true? Damn it. Um, Okay, um, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. Is so the ranges are correct. What did it say when you said 2024? It said something about... Uh, okay, 2018. 2018 was... Uh, I have to wait 20 years. Okay. points so this is gonna be a Uh, all 
Next my points. I oh, know. Let's. Uh, this is all my fed points. All X I. Maybe the gaps function is wrong, let's see. This should take a while. No. Oh, okay, these are even more points. So we have seventeen seven thousand six hundred points. Link fully contained a Twenty two thousand nine two hundred ninety two of which are fully contained within the cube. Now, okay, so these are the ones that are fully contained. How many of them have neighbors directly adjacent? So, um, Fully contained points equals filter. Fully contained. Uh, XYZ. Okay, now for each of them, I'm just gonna say um, map as sum. Um, we're gonna take a point, and we're gonna say. Um, some filter contains C uh, neighbors G so these are uh, Fully contained points. A
Ah, I can't just sum the lengths like this because they might have the same neighbor, right? Uh, these are fully contained points. And now we want to we want to filter we want to filter the ones that are not in the cube as well, right? Uh, filter okay, and then a uh, filter a uh, not contain C. Okay, and then Still, then we still get twenty twenty four. That was the definitely not the answer. Okay, so wait, so these are the full. Uh, okay, these are the fully contained points. Okay, now, now let's do the, um, now let's do the length, uh, the sum of how many, how many sides it uh, each touch. 
g a length filter contain can see a neighbors of g Seems like a reasonable number. Let's just let's see what happens. Oh my god. Exterior sides are there. See, what if I do it the other way around? Okay, so I have the fully contained points. So, um, so let's write here a FC cube equals two cube for the contained points. Okay. So I'm going to do this this neighbor filtering but I'm gonna do it on the uh, filter and it's gonna be all X Y Z but I'm gonna do it on the points that a uh, filter G P so this is these are the points which are not contains C E they're not in the cube and they're not contains FC QP. So if I do this, right, this should also give me 3,500, I feel, if, if my calculations are correct. This gives us three four sixty. This gives all the points. Now I'm going to remove the ones that are not fully contained. So 
it's, I do I still get 2029 20, which Pretty weird that um, it works for the. It works for calculating the total sides. Fully contained. Now let's just write a uh, the opposite function. Okay, not contained. Not contained. Can not in contained. Not contained. X Y Z. Q fully contain points. Uh, what about the not contain points? And then we do a filter not fully contain. I see length fully contained points. Length a uh, int and length a uh, uh, not contain points and a uh, length and then some map length fully contained points in and uh, not contained
So then we have the ones that are fully contained. We have the ones that are uh, the length of the input. And then we have the ones that are not contained. And they seem to sum up to the whole space. Okay, which is good now. Let's see if uh, we can filter the ones. A uh, map, so some, so not the length. Um, filter any contains C. So these are the neighbors that are not contained. Let's do map I still keep getting this 2029 number which is not correct we guessed that already Take a quick break. I'll be right back. Okay, let me see. Third, I got a transition. It's very annoying that this uh, example doesn't actually. Mm-hmm. 
So these are the immediate neighbors of the Nakedim village. I did guess, I, I, I did say 2029, right? When it came to the... No, I didn't say to the desert. Okay, because in all the cube sides that could be reached by the water and steam as the Rama drop is doubled. The steam will expand to reach as much as possible. Completely displacing any air on the outside of the lower droplet, but never expanding diagonally. So I don't get this expanding diagonally. In the large example, exactly one cube of air is trapped within the lava droplet. So the exterior surface area of the lava droplet is 15. So we know that the surface area of the scanned lava droplet is 3,500. Okay. Okay, I think guess let's just check the Reddit. I don't get it. There's some there's something I'm missing here. Okay, so people seem to be doing a search. Breath first search. 
I don't, I don't get it. Why? So, because we just have all the points. We just find the ones that are not contained. Let me listen to this voice. Wait. Mizard X. Yes, I know. Listen, these are the points that are not contained within the ball. And these are the fully contained points. Okay. So I, I know exactly... You know, I know exactly the area... I know exactly the points that are not contained, right? And then I count... How many neighbors... Okay, maybe neighbors here should include... So how many of those neighbors... You know, so I, I count, right? So how many of the neighbors of that point uh, touch the cube, right? So that should be the face, right? So if you have one here and then you touch... Juk, juk, juk. You need to count the face on the outside and not counting anything inside the ball. Yeah, I mean, I know that, right? So I know exactly... What is not inside, not contained, right? So then you can go, you can go anywhere and it's not within the ball. Um, and I know exactly the ones that are fully contained within the ball. So this is just checks, right? That that all of them, right? Uh, if I start anywhere and I go in all directions, I hit uh, a ball, and those are the ones that are fully contained, right? Yeah, the input forms of hollow spear. Exactly. So a point is fully is in the spear, right? It's not like okay, anyway. You think about it like this, right? Uh, I mean so it, is, it is a hollow sphere, right? Right, just one sphere, but it could be like a outcropping, right? So these are the points that are fully contained within the sphere, right? So, you know, you, you have a point within the sphere, and that's the definition, right, of a sphere, right? Like, being contained, right? It's, you, like, if you go in any direction, you will hit the sphere. Uh, and that's what this checks, right? That a going in all these directions, X, Y, X, left, X, right, I see, right, okay? You hit the sphere.
And then I can count the... And it even... Okay, yeah, right. So not contain points. And that's, uh, I mean, that's my problem, right? So, so this expression here, right? So that counts uh, the neighbors. So how many points uh, like it touches, the touch the sphere from the inside and the outside, right? And, you know, as makes sense, if we take if we, if we sum these two up right then they result in uh, the total surface area of the sphere okay but then and then these so the, 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 the first one here should be the exterior and this one should be the interior but I that it's saying it's saying that it's not correct So I don't get the... Uh, you could technically have a cube that has other cubes in all direction but can still get outside via some curving tunnel. Then I just uh, okay. Then we can't do it this way. Then I need to. Um, I need to do a breath first search. Let's dig that up then. Did I cleverly put that in util? BFS. Let's put that in utils. Import int map. Import data dot int map and import import data dot int map I am int map Okay. Um. Then I need to set and for qualify data dot set as set import data dot set. Set. Data dot map map 
keyboard qualified data dot map as map okay it's not just not we're gonna do like the same Let's just move this. So what is the neighbor's function here? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna brute force this. I don't, I don't care actually. Would I actually use the graph here? Ah, no, I don't actually use, it's just for uh, the neighbor's function. So, this one, eh, let's have this be, toward A, Start in uh, end.
the neighbors function what it takes is it uh, takes an a a and this is something that takes an a and returns on this device BFS hey, do, 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 do. Oh, I already have a neighbor's function. contained okay now I'm not gonna do this for all of them the points I'm gonna consider is a pause neighbors equals a map uh, and uh, so we're gonna do a filter uh, not contain c filter not dot contains c of a c uh, this is gonna be a so the cube points of a neighbors of neighbors okay Um, we're gonna do that for the input. We're deleting all of these. We don't care. Ding 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 ding. ding. Uh, but we would like to keep these. Actually, these we're gonna use them later. Okay not all xyz we are gonna write here a uh, length pause neighbors and let's just do uh, set that from list set that to list Hmm. 
Gun camp map. Boss neighbors. And come on, and come on, and set out from list. Set. Set out to list. How many possible neighbors are there? 1631. Listen, use pause. Okay, so this works to calculate all of them. Now I need to filter which of these are inside and which of these are outside. Okay, and let's write that function. Okay, so... Let's see, so for this cube... Zero, zero, zero is outside, right? Oh, let's just make it uh, something else. So is outside equals... Um, So it's outside if I can get to is just um the P Okay, so uh, def outside equals definitely outside is minus one comma minus one comma minus one. Now is outside a p is equal to is just bfs nf import data dot maybe is just is just bsfs and, and then we start at def outside and we end up at p where nf neighbor function is it uh, takes in a p uh see current point cur p um, and we call neighbors of curve p filter not dot contains c. We don't want to we don't want to uh, is outside so this is going to take a while we're running a lot of red thread searches Let's see. filter is outside where outside Outside neighbors equals filter is outside possible neighbors So let's uh,
possible neighbors um, a surface surface is exactly that int comma int comma int comma int Surface plus neighbors. Surface has a neighbors. Links. That's a neighbor. Surface has a neighbors. It's taking long even for the ah sorry because it's also like it looks at the it will look at all the points in let's have this zero so we'll actually not A def outside zero 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 zero. Now we're gonna find a path. It's outside. We need to uh, limit our neighbors function here. Um, filter in range. And then we're gonna need that um, from before. Next equals minimum. is like super dumb right uh, so i want to stop as soon as i found another neighbor right pause and a set equals a No, this is just a possible little neighbors. Ding 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 
We're not gonna do this. Uh, well, the neighbor function is We're just going to find partition the neighbor set into multiple sets and let's see if there's a path between them, right? Let's just see how long this in range thing will do.
Okay, it's quite fast for the example at least. All right. Ah, uh, we finally did it. So look at these, right? We were doing like 2019 and then 2024 before 2029 before, right? So there were just a few tricky cases where there were like some tunnels or weird stuff where it would have like a point and it would be Okay. Anyway, this is, uh, yeah, this is also based on the hint, right? Breath per search. And we could make this faster by making this neighbor's function clear, but more clever, but. Anyway, uh, anyway, it wasn't, it wasn't seven hours like yesterday, which is uh, yes. I'm actually surprised at how fast it finds that there's no path. Maybe like for the ones that are stuck. But for the ones that are outside, it's quite fast. And for the ones that are not outside, eh, it's probably because the sphere isn't so big, right? So we hit the wall very soon and then, yeah. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. I would say this was easy. I mean, the task one was like, okay, yeah, we did it. And now, yeah, it took us two hours to do that. We wish we didn't. Anyway, I was trying to make my approach work. Um, but it was the wrong approach. As it, Mizzard X pointed out, it, that was exactly the problem, right? We might... I thought like we would be within a sphere and it would just be a sphere, right? But have like a tunnel and then it would technically be outside. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. See you tomorrow. Uh, day 19. We're almost there. Uh, we've done quite a lot. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>